to the gym guys. Today we got a, a pretty long one, although not as long as you think, but it is very uh, running intensive. So it's a three rounder. You guys saw it on screen already. 800 meter run, 20 weighted sit-ups, 10 double dumbbell front squats. So most of this, the majority of the time will be spent running today. So you really want to make sure you get good running prep done, all kinds of uh, ankle, calf prep, all kinds of things. Do little short warm-up runs to get you acclimated and ready for that 800 meter effort. That 800 meter effort, let's just start off right off the top, should be about four minutes. For faster folks, it'll be between three and 3.30. And for the faster folks, for that reason, this workout will be maybe around 18 minutes. For most of you guys, it's gonna be, we'll say 18 to 24, 20 will be the sweet spot. We are gonna cap it absolutely at 30 for those of you who are um, a little bit less fleet of foot. We are gonna let you go on this one today though. We want you to get that running, that longer effort running in. Okay, so 800 meter run, about four minutes of work. Subs would be rowing for 500, um, 50 or 35 cals on the bike. Um, you can do any number of subs kind of in place for three and a half minutes, marching in place. I would say better effort would be to farmer's walk for 400. Um, you could even walk for four minutes. Those are all alternatives that I would prefer rather than the marching in place. You can, you can also do, if we want it, if we need to, you absolutely can't go outside. We can do step ups onto a low box for about three and a half minutes as well. Three to three and a half minutes. But I want to get you guys out there moving in this workout. That's the essence of this workout. So although it sounds funny, walking is a better um, option than being in place. Okay. So next one is going to be weighted sit ups, guys. You can do that with a single dumbbell, a double dumbbell. You can use the same dumbbell, uh, single dumbbell that you're using for your sit-up, and then you can use the other one to hook your feet if you want to do that. Okay, so that's an option. It'll just be like so, coming up, one leg shooting up just like mine. Oh, and super light dumbbell. So obviously we'd be doing a little bit heavier, hopefully, and that is one thing I want to emphasize, um, the sit-ups are not the place where you need to go breakneck speed, okay? You can even break it into a couple. You can go really challenge this one today and go heavy on both the front squats and the sit-ups. The main thing you're trying to do is get that run done. Since it's such a, a critical piece, you want to be fresh for that run, as fresh as possible. So go kind of heavy. Don't worry about busting through this, unless you're really trying to get below 18 minutes, in which case go fast on everything. But we want to be uh, methodical, and I actually wouldn't even care if those front squats are so heavy that it takes two sets to get them, okay? So two sets on the front squats. You can go two sets on the sit-ups, really working the core between the stabilization that happens on the front squats and actually the active use of your abdominals in the sit-ups. And then our front squat, of course, we want to stay nice and upright as we're squatting down, bells wrapped on shoulders, Elbows high, okay? Um, subs, for sit-ups, you could do hollow rocks. Um, you could do unweighted sit-ups. If you have it at home, you could do strict knee raises or toes to bar, as long as you're not taking too many sets. Sit-ups should be challenging. Like I said, you have permission to do that, but no more than two sets. Front squats, same thing, challenging, but no more than two sets. All right, guys, have fun with it. See you soon, out.